Hi everybody, it's Steffi and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be reviewing the Velvet Trap lipstick and where did it go? The lip liner and weirdo. And also I'm going to be using the Diamond Juice Gloss for the first time. So if you guys want to see any of that, then stay tuned. All right, so let's get started with everything I got, and then we will go through and put the lipstick and lip liner on, because I look crazy right now. But the first thing I got was the pink Jeffree Star approved t-shirt when I went to get my Bloodlust palette. This shirt was actually sold out, so now I saw it was available. I went and I picked it up. I believe the prices for the t-shirts, depending on your size, are like $25. And then I got, so here is Weirdo. And I will swatch it for you guys. You barely have to press. And there she is. It's as dark as an eyeliner. I want to show you how big these are compared to other pencils. But we will do that later because I really want to try these on. So let's try on the lip liner. Where is my mirror? Here it is. You guys know I always lose it at my desk. Found it. Um, so the lip liners are... $16 and I'm looking on Beauty Bay because Jeffree Star's website is not up right now. They might be doing some maintenance, removing the mystery boxes from the site or something like that. I'm not really sure. All right. I'm not complaining. I just wanted it a little bit darker. All right, so I know a lot of people when they line their lips, they like to line the whole lip. That's not really the way that I do things, so that's not what I'm going to do. So that is weirdo, and as you can see, it's very pigmented. Um, black, black lip liners are hard to find, so finding one is a real treat. And then we have the Velvet Trap. So I'm going to show you the packaging real quick. So one side says velvet, the other side says trap. And then I believe on the top we have pure hell. So you just pull this up and then the component is inside here. I think this is a really cute little package and I might even just save this because I'm weird like that. So then you have the bullet, which is magnetic. And it looks like this. It's got the Jeffree Star logo on it. So if we take the lid off, this is magnetic. Okay. I want to show you what the lipstick, lipstick, the lipstick looks like in all its entirety because it is beautiful. So as you can see, it has the Jeffree Star logo all around it, which is different because we don't usually see this on a lipstick. It's it's pretty rare and it must have taken a lot of care to get the detail on it that nice, but it's a matte lipstick. So let's go ahead and put this bad boy on because I am just dying for an actual good black lipstick. It has a scent. It kind of reminds me of like a vanilla cappuccino or maybe like a hot chocolate. But it does smell good. Bella is up here. Okay, so that's one layer. I'm going to try to go a little bit darker. Okay. 
Ma'am, can you get down, please, before you cancel out my webcam? All right. So, she's like right on my desk. This is what Into Hell looks like. I guess I could have swatched that for you guys. Hello. Let's give it a swatch. So there you go, as you can see, same as Weirdo, full coverage, feels very comfortable. I'm pretty sure this is a satin lipstick, but I like the bullet on this because the bullet is actually pretty big and this packaging is just so cute. It does say Jeffree Star Cosmetics all around this and these are, I believe I have the price right, from Beauty Bay, $18 and as I'm looking, the majority of the colors are sold out, including, well, on here they have it. No, it's Pure Hell. I thought it said Into Hell. No, it's Pure Hell. Pure Hell is sold out along with a lot of the, like, reds and neutrals. So all they really have left is, like, um, the one that's called Unfazed, which is, like, a um, gold color. Then they have, like, a orchid color, Malibu Beach House. Jawbreaker, which is the blue, and a couple other random colors, but the majority of them are sold out. I'll say this formula is nice. It didn't tug on the skin, which some of them do. It seems to be pretty pigmented, which for me is hard to find. Like this is a black lipstick, and I think it looks very nice. So I'm very happy that I bought it, but I wanted to show you guys. So this is Jeffree Star's uh, lip liner. I have other brands here. I have NYX, I have Beauty Vault, and I have Gerard Cosmetics. So I wanted to take off the caps and show you the differences and um, we'll go through price range. If you guys are done with the video, you can click off now. Thank you for your support. But this is just me doing weird things because I'm obsessed with makeup. You know, what girl doesn't do stuff like this? Okay, I just got to make sure I put all the caps back on the right lipstick, or lip liners. Okay, so as you can see with all of them, Jeffree Star's is the pink one. It's not the biggest. Beauty Vault is a little bit bigger, but Beauty Vault, these ones, they you have to have a specific sharpener for them. And as you can see, the NYX one hasn't been used. The Gerard's Cosmetics one was a little bit bigger, probably about the size of the Beauty Vault one. But I have sharpened it. I believe this one is a little bit more expensive, somewhere around $20. And it is a very nice formula. So if you don't like Jeffree Star and you're looking for a different type of lip liner, Gerard Cosmetics girl, they got a big selection. So I would highly recommend them. They're pretty good. But I just wanted to show you guys the difference between, do I have these right lids on? I don't know. I know which one's the Jeffree Star lid because it's just so bougie. But I just want to talk about packaging because um, along with all the glosses, like here's a gloss. As you can see, they have like the same type of lid. And I think it's a very cool idea. I really like this. You're never going to lose one of these lids because they're so shiny. And it just looks beautiful on the vanity. But one thing I also wanted to do is I wanted to put diamond juice on top of the lipstick. And let's see what that looks like just because I'm probably going to devote this one to my black lipstick. As you guys know, these lipsticks are also like $18. They're very expensive, but I did get this from a Halloween mystery box. So I'm not mad about it. And I'm not ever going to use just a clear lip gloss on its own. As you guys can see, I'm a pretty full coverage girl. I'm never going to go for that natural look anyway. So there's no point in saving a lip gloss just to use on just my lips. Because it's never going to happen. I mean, even in the middle of the night. Okay, here we go. Oh, honey. When I tell you, like, see, look at how dirty this is getting. That's okay. When I tell you. So it does have a shine. You can't really see the glitter particles in there. 
but you can kind of see the reflective shift that it has. So that just gives you a little bit more of a sheen to it. And I just I love these glosses. They smell so good. I know there are ones that do smell like soda, um, but I'm not really interested in that. That's not my tea. I like these. So this is in Diamond Juice, in case you are wondering. It's pretty much just a clear gloss. Um, but it does have a little bit of a reflect in it. I can swatch it on its own for you guys if you want. Now, mind you, it does have that black on there. I should have swatched it before, but um, if you look, it has a little bit of a reflect to it. You see it there. You can see it there. Okay, anyway. So... What do I think? I mean, we we all know about the lip liners. This isn't like they've been around for a while. I know that I think he did redo the formula on these, but um, it's a very nice formula. I like it. I don't see any bleeding going on with my lips, which is something that does happen with black lipsticks a lot. I also want to see how long this wears. I'll leave that in the description box because I'm not going to come back to this video. But when I do upload it, I'll have that information for you guys. But this lipstick is pretty heavy. Um, I do like that this is magnetic. I think that's great. This is probably my favorite lipstick that I have right now. And I am just so glad that Jeffrey is so inclusive with his selection of all of his products. Like all of his highlighters, all of his makeup. Well, not, well, duh, makeup, but like all of his eyeshadow palettes all his lipsticks there's always like weird colors out there and there's always somebody that's looking for a certain color like I'm always looking for black I'm sure somebody is always looking for jawbreaker and there's probably people that are looking for other weird colors that they just can't find except for on his website so I just think that it's a really cool idea what he's done with his makeup and yeah it may be a little bit more expensive if you don't like that and if you don't live in California yeah it may take like a week to get your stuff but you know what I think that the quality of his products is good and even if you don't like him you cannot argue that his makeup is incredible and I love it one thing I really am hoping to get soon hopefully for Christmas hopefully I will be asking for it is a mirror I really would like a mirror I would like one of the bloodless mirrors I don't know if they're available I can't check the website right now because it's down but um really would love a mirror also with this purchase, I did get this velvet trap card, which is very cute. And then on the back, it has all the names and shades of the lipsticks, which I think is really cool. Honestly, I would probably like copy one of these so I have them both because I do want to eventually like frame all these and hang them around my house. I know I'm a big weirdo, whatever. I don't care. Leave me alone. Let me do my thing. I don't care what you guys think. I do, but not like that. Like, if I want to hang this on my house, I'm going to, okay? <laughs> anyway, also, the boxes that they ship in, like, this is the box I got all my stuff in. Those are also good for Christmas. So, you can always use a good Jeffree Star box for Christmas because you can also reship items to somebody else that doesn't live in your area in them and even like the little box I got which is similar to a boxy charm box this you could ship some goodies to somebody for Christmas if you wanted to so I've been saving all my boxes because they're a lot better quality than Amazon boxes but I don't know I just love Jeffree Star stuff I really like this t-shirt I was glad to get the pink one um, I don't really care that I just ruined that lipstick because now even if I wanted to wear it as just a gloss now it's going to give me that black fantasy that I like. So, whatever. Some of you are going to be mad that I ruined my gloss. But you know what? I bought it. It's mine. I can do whatever I want with it. Leave me alone. Okay? Anyway, so that's going to be my review on the Velvet Trap lipstick. I absolutely love this. I will probably get another one of these when it does run out. But... I don't think it's going to run out for a very long time because it seems to be that you don't really need a lot to get a good application. And this application is like pretty much perfect. I don't have any on my teeth, do I? Look at how wet my teeth look. Oh my God. All right. Anyway, guys, that's me trying out the new Velvet Trap. Comment down below. Let me know what colors did you buy because I'm curious. Um, 
And if you can, show me either go to my Instagram or my Twitter, send me a DM or comment on one of my posts. Show me a picture of you with your lipstick. I just I want to see everybody's what they got. I just I want to see it. Um, and if you did get anything else, let me know because I want to know what everybody else got during this launch. But anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. If you liked it, leave it a like. If you're new, please subscribe for more makeup content. I do unbox Tamed Wild unboxings on here, which is like a witch subscription box. I also do BoxyCharm unboxings on here for the main base box. So if you want to see more of those videos, more eye looks, like and subscribe. more lip looks, more stuff like that, then make sure that you subscribe and click the bell. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Bye.